ladies and gentlemen. This is Tim Botner, and he is 41 years old, one of the insurrectionists that is going to remain behind bars. Well, during his video hearing, when the judge was addressing him, he abruptly walked away. Mm -mm -mm. It must be nice to be able to do whatever you want when cops are around and when judges are talking to you and you have this attitude, I'll do what the hell I want. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So a judge ordered him to remain behind bars and he stormed off and said, I'm done with this. Uh Uh-huh. All right. So he is accused of pepper spraying and assaulting police officers on January 6, 2021, during the riot at the U.S. Capitol as he latched out and left the detention proceedings Wednesday after the judge ruled he would stay behind bars. So the prosecutors have said he sprayed, pepper sprayed multiple police officers as he stood on the front lines of the insurrections. And he even went on Facebook afterwards and bragged that he effed those police officers up. So the judge ruled that he is a flight risk and a danger to the community and cited his actions on January 6th and the subsequent social media activity. You got these dumb ass comments that you're saying, I said, but I didn't say these things. Well, they they had access to a social media account. I don't even know why he's standing there telling all kinds of tales. Um, Do we really have to go through all this? You guys don't know what happened. This is what this insurrectionist, Bautner, this is what he claimed. Um, He said, you really don't know what happened. You uh, guys are going to believe what you guys want to believe. So, hey, it is what it is. But they got him on video, y'all. And they got all kinds of evidence and they got a social media account of him bragging afterwards. So, after he exited, he continued to reason for why he stayed incarcerated, um, you know, citing that de facto leadership role that day, uh, noting that when rubber bullets rained down instead of running away, he, like a, a leader, picked up a can of chemical spray. He had no remorse at the time it happened. So when he pepper sprayed these officers, he felt nothing. Nothing that's indicated to me he has remorse. And this is what the judge is saying. Legal experts say new sedition charges prove a coup and insurrection on January 6th. So, ladies and gentlemen, he will remain behind bars whether he like it or not. They did not give any details on how long he will remain behind bars. But, you know, he's standing there talking like they don't have any evidence on him. (laughs) You can still you can see these still shots of him, a video. So they got all of this on tape of what he did that day. And I guess he seemed to think whatever he says, uh, believe what I'm saying, not what your eyes are seeing. I guess he's trying to pull that stunt. And it is just simply not working on this judge. So we'll see if he gets any sentence. They, They didn't say how long he will remain behind bars. The judge just says that he is going to remain where he is. And I guess he don't like it. Oh, well, you know, you, you're you just believing this and believing that. You're not going to believe me. Well, uh, you know, that might have worked for y'all for a hot minute, but that's not working anymore. You know, it, it, it's just like the McMichaels when Travis took the stand. And I think they all got used to, well, my word carries weight. Whatever I say, they're going to just believe. They're going to believe me. Eh, You don't have it quite like that. 
especially when there's video involved and there is there's a lot of footage of this insurrection a lot so for you to say um something is not you or you know you're you're caught pepper spraying cops and saying you didn't do that and your interpretation is wrong all that stuff is not going to work for you anymore you know but nevertheless he is a flight risk i do agree with that you can't let a person like this out you know and he needs years years with a big s on the end behind bars as far as i'm concerned i don't feel bad for none of these folks they're really getting a very easy cakewalk as far as i'm concerned the way they are getting punished is downright laughable and it you already know something like this will occur again it will be more violent protests like this was a very violent insurrection and there'll be more to come because you already showed and demonstrated in the courts in america that you are not willing to put your foot down and give the proper sentences to these people. What you have given them is a joke. I saw the last few a couple of days ago, and guess what it was, y'all? 60 hours of community service. How is that gonna teach anybody a lesson? It won't. So as long as they keep handing down sentences like that, you can't expect, you can count on, you can count on this happening again and even worse. Whatever breaks out in the streets of America is going to be far worse than this insurrection. You just wait and see. There's no consequences. So why should they hold back from doing another violent protest? They won't. They won't, y'all. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.